Well, South Africa and Ghana maintain bilateral relations. And to unpack this, we're joined in our studio in Pretoria by Emmanuel Owosu Sakeri. Uh, Dr. Sakeri, thank you very much indeed for your time. We told that South Africa and Ghana have good political as well as economic and social relationships. Uh, just describe this relationship for us, would you? Well, Ghana established diplomatic relations with South Africa on the 25th of May 1994. We've had excellent relationships since then. We also collaborate under the auspices of the African Union, United Nations, the World Trade Organization, uh, on peace and security and trade as well on the continent. And in terms of trade, if you look at the economic aspect, uh, how does South Africa benefit from Ghana? Well, in any trade relation, relationship between South Africa and any African country, South Africa benefits more than the other African country, I must say so. Because your economy is, uh, your, the, the productive base of your economy is more diversified. If you come to Ghana, you have South African firms in all the sectors of the economy, in agriculture, in industry, in services. Starting from services, you have Stan Big Bank, uh, APSA Bank, you have uh, MultiChoice, you have MTN, the widest used uh, mobile phone network in, in the whole of West Africa, not only in Ghana. We have South African mining companies. Uh, if you look at the construction sector, South Africa is very dominant there as well. South Africa built all the mo shopping malls we have, and if you enter in there, you see all the South African retail outlets uh, uh, there in, in Ghana as well. In our real estate development or construction sector, again, uh, most of the roofing material, fixtures and fittings are from South Africa. Um, in the agriculture sector, there are South African, and again, in industry, the South African mining companies, beside Anglo Gold Ashanti, uh, if you look at agriculture, there are South African farms as well. So South Africa benefits immensely from the trade relationships with Ghana. If you flip the coin, o the coin over, we do not have Ghanaian farming companies in the agriculture sector. We do not have, besides Anglo Gold Ashanti, we do not have uh, Ghanaian mining companies here. We do not have uh, that many Ghanaian services companies here as well. So the relationship is quite more beneficial to South Africa than it is to Ghana uh, as a country. Doctor, tell us how beneficial, uh, we spoke to Mzondele Mbeje earlier on, he touched on this, the uh, permanent joint commission that, and corporation that was established in uh, 2007, I think in May 2007. How beneficial is that corporation? Come again. The permanent joint commission for cooperation that was apparently uh, established between the two countries in May uh, 2007. How beneficial is that cooperation between the two countries? Mm. Well, um, as I did, it has been more beneficial to South Africa than to Ghana. But the, the current leadership of Ghana is looking at, um, uh, believes, first of all, that the, the growth prospect and development prospects of Ghana as a country can be better achieved. And, of, and, and honestly, Africa as a whole can be better achieved through trade and investment among ourselves. And also by adding value to our raw materials through industrialization than through dependence on foreign aid uh, from external partners. So we, we, uh, we're still exploring uh, avenues for, for, for mutual cooperation. If you look at the two countries, we are both natural resource endowed countries. Uh, Ghana has oil, which South Africa does not have. So that's an opportunity there for, for mutual cooperation, for a win-win situation there. Again, South Africa has been able to attract a lot of multinational companies that Ghana is seeking to attract as well. So most of these multinational companies are looking at expanding and extending the operation to the continent. And Ghana believes that we are the gateway to West Africa. So we're going to learn from South Africa how you attract these companies, which ones want to extend their operations throughout the continent. How can Ghana help as a gateway to West Africa? Again, South Africa's uh, ICT and technology infrastructure is way advanced than Ghana. That's another area where there can be mutually benefic beneficial cooperation in terms of technology transfer from South Africa to Ghana. Your, your, your construction industry is also well advanced than, 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 than ours. So the number of areas where um, we could mutually cooperate and, and mutually benefit from our, our, our relationship as two countries. Doctor, I want to touch on this trading block in Africa. Now, Africa's most populous nation, Nigeria, has not uh, joined this, this, this trading block as yet the African continental free trade area. Where does Ghana stand on this? Ghana sees it as a very beneficial uh, 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 achievement. The continental, the continental free trade area brings together 54 states, a uh, population of 1.3 billion people, uh, with a joint GDP of $3.4 trillion. That's a huge market. And uh, Ghana looks at it from a very positive perspective, that it gives us opportunity for... It also includes uh, uh, perfect labor and capital mobility. 
uh, movement of goods and services, free movement of business, persons, and investments. And for us, it's a huge opportunity for, for, for intra-African trade uh, and, and for growth and development. Um, the size of the market alone gives opportunity for economies of scale in production and probably economies of scope through uh, value chain linkages with our neighboring countries. The CFT also seeks to you know, um, address the multiple rec membership of countries, uh, where countries shift loyalties and shift the goalposts, and that uh, has really adversely affected uh, the achievement of the continental integration agenda. And Ghana feels that that's a good thing to address, and it also seeks to, to enhance intra-Africa trade. And we believe that trading among ourselves holds greater prospects for our growth and development than, 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 than aid and dependence on, on external partners. So for us, it's positive. But Nigeria has raised uh, concerns that are, that are very uh, pe peculiar to Nigeria in terms of the fact that non-oil production capacity is very low in Nigeria. They have strong challenges with sustainable energy, uh, which they are still struggling to overcome. So uh, opening up to the rest of the continent and suddenly the rest of the world uh, uh, without any, any barriers would make Nigeria very vulnerable. Uh, the President Buhari may declare that they do not want Nigeria to become a dumping ground for finished goods and the local manufacturing sector uh, cannot compete <coughs> to that extent and at that level. Well, thank you very much indeed for, for that insight, uh, Doctor. That was Dr. Emmanuel Awuso Sakeri there giving us some insight in terms of this state visit from the Ghanaian president to South Africa.